So this is an amazing site right here. Well, this whole canyon is actually, but this particular area here, the pictographs start here and they just wrap all the way around in there. And at this end, there's some very large uh, anthropomorphic figures, probably three, four feet tall. And it's, it's very impressive. So this area here, was of some importance so we've got all this here then across we've got a big alcove with granaries and possibly some dwellings maybe a jefe lived in there but this uh this was a important spot here and i say a thousand years ago but more than likely people have been in this canyon much longer than that and uh, that one petroglyph that I pointed out earlier that's almost completely exfoliated away would uh, lend me to think that probably thousands of years. So there's all kinds of stuff in here. So we're going to chill out, have some lunch in here. And I'm going to take my time and go over a lot of this stuff real slow. So enjoy. So this panel right here is really interesting because it has flute playing depicted in it. So there's these figures here, which really are interesting. Let me focus there. I want to go just above those three figures. You'll see an image right there, and that is a depiction of someone playing a flute. Now when I move just to the left and tucked under there is another depiction of someone playing a flute. Perhaps it's Coco Pelli, perhaps not. But needless to say, these images are ancient. Maybe a thousand years old, maybe older. Fascinating. So I've got a lot going on in this section here. A lot of images that are just basically white. And there's some magnificent representation, uh, zoomorphic figures here right there i mean they're huge as i pan back out you see more of the white figures all around and then there is another huge zoomorphic figure right there okay so what we're looking at here barely certain those are Images that uh, represent turkeys. You can see the heads are a different color. Go a little closer here. Isn't that just fantastic? Look at that. 
So maybe uh, I'm sure they were consuming turkeys. And just above them are some very interesting figures there. So all this right here, especially part of my finger as it comes into the frame, this down here is almost completely faded away. It is ancient. And above it, you've also got another representation of turkeys or some type of bird, I'm presuming turkey. And then you've got something really interesting right there. Just if you can get a idea of perhaps a headdress there. And there's stuff that goes all up. All up. Just intense. So I've basically gone all around here and I've done a little bit with this camera, but a lot of this is out of the reach. So I've done some with the drone and then I'm zooming in with the other camera. But uh, this whole section right here, there's just a couple figures right here. There's huge zoomorphic figures. And uh, there's some really interesting depictions going on here. And there's some flute players over here. Got the zoomorphic figures. And then over here uh, with those opening shots, um, I am pretty certain there's a depiction of a figure holding a human head. A decapitation so I'm gonna go in and zoom in with uh, the camera for that but it when you see it you're just like oh yeah so there's some interesting imagery going on here you've got depictions of humans animals and also some uh, possibly some some violence so yeah it's it's uh it's a lot to to contemplate in here, no doubt about that. So this is a really important panel, obviously right here. Lots going on and it's at a very precarious spot so I can't really get a good angle on it. But I wanna point out, there's some really interesting things going on with these symbols right here. And then as I go to the right, that figure right there, I feel like that is showing a figure holding a head. And there's a whole bunch of stuff going on underneath it. As you can see. That's just my interpretation. Perhaps it's not something, but boy, it sure looks like it, doesn't it? Or holding a scalp or something. I'm also noticing on some of the painted stuff, as I was just showing this, this image here, um, some of the painted stuff has been scratched out. So you sometimes see this when uh, other cultures come on top of each other and whether they think the older symbols are taboo or something of that nature or is an enemy, um, they'll scratch it out. So I'm seeing quite a bit of that in here and there's a lot of, God, there's just so much in here. If you just look, scratched in and there's probably so much. Look at this. It goes back in here, yellow paint. that uh, is just lost because it's just completely f giant flakes are coming off the wall here and it's probably all in here but it's all broken off and disintegrated so some so much of this is lost but there's scratchings on this and you may think that's like modern vandalism but it's actually not because you can see here the rock is fractured after the scratchings are in there and they've faded so and here's, here's another example of that. So other cultures might have come through here and scratched over older ones. I don't know. It's, it's really, really interesting.
But like I've, I've mentioned before earlier, that uh, it's obvious that uh, people have been in this canyon for a very long time. So people would have, you know, inhabited it and then just vanished. And then hundreds of years later, more people come in and then over and over and over. So it's, who's to say, right? Where I'm at in here, this is a major concentration of rock art. And it's just images on top of images on top of older images and there's scratchings, there's paintings, there's petroglyphs. There's so much in here that I just keep seeing more and more stuff and the day is just going, going, going. <laughs> and there's more rock art all down the canyon. So uh, this, I don't know, I'm gonna have to just do a couple more uh, close-ups because it's just, it's just taking up too much time. This, this would take multiple videos to uh, to document in here. So, but this is a uh, pretty, pretty intense area right here. When I was talking about images being scratched over, so you can see the painted one has been scratched there. And there's examples of it there. And then when you move over to this flake, there's lots of scratchings of different symbols so maybe maybe there was a battle in here and one group lost and that was the group that had the paintings because there surely is an image over here depicting someone that's been decapitated all right we're gonna go up real close and have a look at these What do you guys think? Does that show a decapitation? Oh, this big guy here. And check that out. What a trip. Okay, this is getting a little, a little sketchy on the edge here, but I'm gonna go up and get another close-up of some of these if I can. Yeah. How cool is that? Awesome. My, 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 where has the day gone? Just, whew. all right, so I just don't have time to go down and explore more. It's just, I've spent so much time in this spot and then a couple of the spots. So uh, I gotta get out of here and I'll be back. So there's probably gonna be another part to this video. Maybe I'll do a series. Oh man, how did I miss that? Okay, this is an obvious, oh my goodness. I completely missed this, probably because I was standing right up on it. This has got to be a deca decapitation. There's a giant figure holding what looks to be a head here. Oh, it's just it's giving me goosebumps looking at it. I need to, I need to stand back and zoom in. I mean, I was standing right up on the wall, so I couldn't make it out, but from right here, it's, it's, obvious okay this is it's a big figure i mean it's probably like you know like that big so maybe i can i'm gonna zoom in from standing way back then i'm gonna walk up and do a close-up okay this is the image that i absolutely just missed that i mean without it it looks like he is holding a head you can see the head with a bit of a spine hanging out and maybe that's i'm just thinking too morbidly, but look at this. I mean, what do you think? And then there's another one above it to the right up here. Where am I at? 
there doing the same thing. I stood back and zoomed in and now, oh, this thing, this painting's like three feet tall. Good Lord. Give me an idea of how big it is as I stand next to it. And it's scratched out. There's something at its feet, but doesn't that look like a head with a bit of spine? Of course it could be something else, but man, what if, huh? There's some carvings in that. Oh, what a trip. All right, I think it's time to move on. However, this, uh, I'm not exactly sure what to think. I do believe that there's images on this wall depicting decapitation. Um, among other things, and it's obvious that there's different, uh, there may be, there may be different cultures here, different, I don't know, some of them are scratched out and there's different symbols scratched in. It's, it's really, really interesting. And maybe it's not different cultures. Maybe it's the same culture, but different groups that fought each other over resources or this area or who knows, but I think, I think that this area is not as innocent as I originally thought it was. So I think what, uh, some of the things depicted on that wall there are images of brutality, violence. So I don't think, I don't think it was a paradise in here. I think it was competition. Hmm. Well, all that aside, it was an absolutely fascinating day. And now we gotta, we gotta hike back up out of here. Oh, that'd be interesting, eh, Fiefs? So, you know, shouldn't be too big of a deal. Well, I hope not. So we're... far so good so all I have to do is get up to the top of that and I'll be out of here yeah shouldn't be a problem I'm about to head up and I just pulled a rock out put on a boulder here because I wanted to show you that inside this rock right there is the imprint of a seashell Fossil. Yep. Look at that. It's a little mind blowing when you think that uh, all this was underwater at one point. Yeah. That'll get your mind working. Or you can see this fossil here in the light. That's the fossilized seashell right there. <laughs> the trip. And here's another fantastic example. Let's have a look at this. There it is. Perfect imprint of a shell. It's a steep one. That's for sure. Totally doable though. Well, that's the top. Came from all the way down there. Not bad. And there's the truck. We have made it back. So that was one very interesting trip. No doubt about that. 
I've got some pretty interesting thoughts about what that area, I don't know. I don't know if they were growing corn down there because there's a reliable water source. So they could have been growing corn and fighting over it. I'm just thinking back to the two pictographs that may be representing de de decapitation and checking out the uh, the boss's quarters or wherever the Hefe lived originally where those granaries were and some obvious dwellings there and the petroglyphs that were in there that were exfoliated, exfoliated I mean they were almost gone so uh, I think different peoples or cultures perhaps or maybe the same culture but just different groups that fought over the area I, I think that that area has just been occupied for thousands of years obviously the rock art pretty much proves that. I mean, there's some old, old stuff in there, but uh, the dynamics of the people, uh, I don't know, seems to be interesting. I'm, I'm really under the impression that two of those images depicted human figures holding the heads of other humans, decapitation. I could be wrong. I'm not an expert, not a professional, not an archeologist, just going by what I'm observing, but without a doubt, it's interesting and definitely worthy of contemplation. So there you have it, folks. Thank you very much for watching. I got lots more content on the way. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It is free. It helps grow the channel tremendously. All you gotta do is hit that button. So thank you very much again, folks. We'll see you next time. D-Rock out, adios.